Welcome back to the homestead, everybody. If you've been gardening for a while, you've run into the problem of blossom end rot. Well, today we're gonna show you the easiest way to fix that issue. So this is our tomato bed, and we were checking it out the other day, and we found a tomato right here. See that little guy? That is called blossom end rot. And then over here, we have our squash and zucchini bed and it is absolutely littered with blossom and rot. You can see down here, you can see in there. It's a really big problem and it's starting to take all of our harvest. It's actually taken almost all of our harvest on our squash and our zucchini and it's starting to take our harvest on our tomatoes. This is actually the first time we've dealt with blossom and rot on our tomatoes. So we just filled these beds this year with a soil that we get from our local soil supplier down the road. And it turns out that most of our beds ended up being calcium deficient. Now, calcium deficiency is one of the direct causes of blossom end rot. So we're gonna jump right into it and show you how we treat this issue. So the first things first is we have straw down on these beds and so my wife is in the process of just pulling back kind of the base where the root system is to each one of these tomato plants. All we're gonna do is take our lime and we like to use this granulated lime. It is very fine, it's almost like salt, you know, like table salt. They do, I know Home Depot sells a granulated version of this. It's bigger granules, kind of like little pebbles that you can turn into a slurry or you can do all sorts of stuff with it. But we really like this stuff. We've used it on our beds previously and then we planted sweet potatoes in those beds and they're doing great. So this is all you're gonna need. And each one of these, what? It popped in my face. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Your bag is gonna have directions on the back. And this one says, apply four to five pounds per 100 square feet area to be treated. So these beds are about 50 square feet, just under 50 square feet. And so one of these bags will treat two of our beds. Now our beds are 12 feet long by four feet wide. So use whatever application you have going on with your raised beds. All right, so I'm gonna grab a nice handful for each plant and just sprinkle it around the base. And the way this works, every time you water the plant, it's releasing the lime into the root system of the plant. All right, we finished up our tomato bed and now we're gonna treat our squash bed. Again. This is what blossom end rot on squash looks like. It's awful. We love our summer squash and look, every this single is, this one. This is a late stage of it and then this is an early stage of it. Let me get this big one, watch out. This is an early stage of it. You can see down here it's wrinkled, but if you squeeze it, like you touch it, it, it feels like, it's, like um, it's hollow almost. Yeah, like kind of hollow, but like punky, like you can hear it. It's just nasty and then We've probably crack had in half. Look at that. It's just 50 squash hollow. fruit in the last month or so and we haven't been able to harvest one of them. It's really sad. Make sure you make it go the distance. Good job, bud. And the final step is to actually water it in. As you're watering, make sure you do it pretty gently because you don't want that lime to disperse all over the place. Right, guys that's it just a quick tip this is super simple all you're gonna do is grab yourself a bag of lime if you're wondering what lime is all it is is granulated limestone super simple adds calcium to your soil ours were calcium deficient what happened was is we told my dad who's been gardening for 40 plus years what was happening and immediately he was like 
go get yourself some lime, put it on your soil, it'll be all good. We are done here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you learned something new today. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to it, hit all, and you'll receive all of our notifications when we release videos in the future. We will see y'all in the next video.